Okay, good morning Year 6. It's nice to be back doing another video for you, showing you a little bit more about what goes on at St Mary's. Hopefully you found the other two videos useful so far. Just a reminder, my name is Mrs Pilling. I'm one of the assistant head teachers at St Mary's and it's part of my job to make sure that you feel fabulous about coming to St Mary's and not at all anxious or worried or concerned. We want you to be excited, we want you to look forward to it and if these videos help then that's job done. So today we're going to look at the different subjects that we, you can study at St Mary's. We all study these subjects in Key Stage 3, that's years 7, 8 and 9 and then when we get to year 10 and 11 you can choose options and you have some choices to make about some of the subjects you get to study at Key Stage 4. So just to give you an insight of the breadth of uh, subjects that we do, I will tell you now. We do religious studies, maths, English language, English literature, geography, history, sociology, Spanish, French, photography, engineering, graphics, we do product design, computer science, creative eye media, music, performing arts, art and design, science as a whole, also physics, natural science, chemistry, biology. We also do PHSE, food science and nutrition and design technology. So many different subjects to cater for so many different pupils with so many different interests. Okay, now I'm gonna hand over to the curriculum leaders of some of those subjects to tell you a little bit more about them. Hi and welcome to the music department. My name is Mrs Watson and I'm the head of music here and I'm just going to talk to you briefly uh, about what will happen in your music lessons when you join us in September. So our entire year seven is based around building up our performance and composition skills so that we can then access all music. And we do that as well through our listening skills as we learn about our elements of music and being able to recognize the key features of a piece. To do this, we work through a variety of units. We start off by looking at rhythm. And in order to help us with that, we do an awful lot of work on the African drums. We use body percussion, and we also use our drum pads as we learn about our different note values and how to compose with them and perform them. From this, we start to look at pitch. Pitch is how high or how low notes are. So for this unit, we do start to read music for the treble clef. And for this, we then work on the keyboards and we also work on the ukuleles and on the guitars. This leads us to actually writing our very own piece of music and then we get onto our computers where we have some fantastic music software so that you can hear your composition come to life. We end the year in year seven with a band project. You get the opportunity to perform with other people in your class, performing on the drums and on the ukuleles as you learn a song and then perform your own version of it. Really looking forward to working with you. Hiya and welcome to the art department. In year seven, we're really lucky that we get a whole lesson per week where we get to experiment with a range of different materials. We start off by trying a lots of range of different mini topics. We try mark making and experimenting with pen technique. We try interiors and looking at the idea of how a viewpoint can influence your design. We then go on to look at things at Christmas time and we look at the, um, the culture of Poland and how they use Krakow Christmas cribs as part of their design at Christmas. They get to make various collage techniques at that point before moving on to a more of a major topic in January. In January, we tend to look at Kandinsky, who was a really interesting and colourful artist. You do a series of work building up to a mixed media design where you get to experiment with watercolour, pastels, colour pencil technique and draw all those skills together in one final piece. We do develop a selection of projects throughout the year as well, including a Kandinsky song project, where you get to pick your favourite song and illustrate it in the style of the artist Kandinsky. You'll be able to see a range of these techniques and the final pieces as we go through this video. The final topic in Year 7 is one of the most favourite ones of everybody in school, which is junk food, and as you can imagine, very popular. Uh, we start off in class by looking and exploring different drawing media including stick and ink technique um, and also moving on to wax resist. You get to again put together your own designs and you know perfect techniques that we've done earlier in the year. 
The final piece of work is the wonderful giant junk food project which you see around me here. This is only a small selection of what tends to come in during the year. And it, again, it's an opportunity for you to think about what object you would like to make, obviously a lot larger than life size, and be as creative as possible. So I look forward to having the opportunity to meet you all and hopefully have some fun. Thank you. Good morning, Year 6. Welcome to St Mary's and the English Department. Uh, this is our lovely Year 7, Set 4, who are an absolutely fabulous class, and some of them are going to tell you all about what they've been up to this year. At the start of the year, we read Machine Gunners, which was about World War II. After the novel, we learnt about the 12th night, which was a comedy about love. Then we learnt about life in prison. Then we learned about Lamb to the Slaughter and the Speckled Bun, which is about detective stories. Last term we learned about the Titanic. And now we are reading poetry from around the world. Okay, so Year 6, we've got loads in store for you when you start here in September, and we look forward to welcoming you. Have a lovely summer. Good morning, and welcome to the Maths Department in St Mary's. Some of you I will have met before, some of you I won't have met before, some of you will be getting a bit scared. Don't panic. Okay. Everyone was new here once, I was new here once, you don't know your way around, so don't panic. Okay. Some of you think, well what will I learn in the maths department? Well, most of it will build on what you've done in year six. And if you're thinking, well I've not learned much in year six for all lots of reasons, don't worry about it, we'll build on what you know, we'll fill your gaps in, don't panic. If you're thinking, but I know you know everything miss, don't worry, we'll stretch you up, we'll, we'll get you there. Sets. Everyone asks me about sets. Don't worry about it. When you've come in in September, you'll all be about mixed abilities. So you will know someone from your form or whatever when you get there. But around about the end of September, beginning of October, once we've got some data on you, once we know some a bit more about you, rather than just naming a bit of paper, we'll move you into a set. And if we get it wrong, we'll move you. If we get it right, fine. Equipment. Lots and lots of people ask you about equipment. A couple of things you need to bring with you. Obviously you need to bring your pen and a pencil, but you also need to bring a protractor, that's a semicircle one, a pair of compasses, that's the one with the point on, and a scientific calculator. Please do not spend a lot of money on it, anything more than about a tenner, not worth it. If you have any questions about calculators though, especially mums and dads, if you've got any questions about which calculator, please give, give Bert School a ring, Mrs Wilson a ring, or an email, and we'll sort you out. Thank you very much, we'll see you in September. Bye! Hello Year 6, uh, my name is Mr Bullman, I am the Head of Science. We really cannot wait to see you in September in the Science Department. We've got lots of exciting stuff for you to do. We're going to learn how to be safe and sensible in the lab. Uh, and then there are plenty of experiments that we've got lined up for you. Um, as well as a lot of learning of how science works. Um, and just one of the exciting things that you may or may not have seen already before we're going to burn some mag magnesium, it's one of our favourite little experiments, it's one of our favourite metals, and if you haven't seen it before, this is what happens. There we go. Can't wait to see you in September Year 6. Hi, my name is Mrs Doran and we really can't wait to meet you in September. I'll be a Year 7 form tutor, but I'm also the Head of Computer Science and Technology. So in year seven, you'll see me as your computer science teacher, where we'll learn a lot of fun and exciting things about how computers work, and also learn the fundamentals of how to program computers and write your own games. So in year seven, you'll embark on our technology carousel, which means that you get to study four different subjects throughout the year. The first one is engineering, where you will work with Mr. O'Hare and Mr. Sharples, our technician. The workshop is really well equipped with equipment including lathes and 3D printers. In this rotation, you'll learn about health and safety, the various tools and how to use them properly, and your end product will be a bird box that you'll be able to take home with you. In DT, you'll work with Mrs. Sales. Again, her workshop is really well equipped, including laser printers, bandsaws and drills. In this rotation, she'll teach you how to use these tools and also introduce some basic electronics to you where you make an electronic lamp. In food, our project Let's Get Cooking is carried out with Mrs. Benison and she'll help you with health and safety and hygiene 
and she'll introduce you to some of the basic equipment that you'll need throughout your time in the food department here at Leyland St Mary's. You'll make a range of really delicious dishes whilst learning how to use the different tools. And finally, you'll work on graphics with Mrs Edwards and we'll look at logos and branding whilst developing a range of your hand drawing skills but also looking at computer applications that can help aid with graphic design. Well, I hope that's been helpful and I hope that's given you a really good flavour of the things that you could be studying very soon. If you have any more questions, I would definitely say your first course of call is the school website where all of the different subjects and curriculum areas are explained in detail. If you still have any questions, there's lots of email addresses from curriculum leaders and also myself on the website, so please don't hesitate to get in touch. We'll see you again next week. Thank you.